Hi, this is Amanda, and I'm going to show you how to edit the empty buttons in the Fine Text Soap program. Now, I'm just on the subjective main screen just to show you the empty buttons. So, what you want to do on any screen where you see one that says empty, you want to go up and touch the pencil icon at the top left. That's your edit key. Then you're going to select the one that you want to change. So in this one, we, we're just going to call it a test, just because I'm showing you how to do it. Now under here it says Add. You have Screen Select, Open Note, Keypad, Slider, and None. If you do Screen Select, it gives you all these different screens that will pop up when you touch this button, and I'll go through those in later videos. You have one that opens the note, so if you want to add your own text in, when you press this button, you can do that. There's one for keypad, and that'll put up the number keypad with the times beside it, like month, day, years, visits. The slider is the same slider that we use for the pain scale, and none means it just inserts your description. So, let's just leave it on none for now, and then we're going to type in the description. So say when you hit this button you want it to start with the patient's name, complains of complaint X. Now complaint X is in a lot of descriptions and it is actually what you typed in the description when you added the patient to the program. So in this case it will say pain in cervical region. So, complains of complaint X for some time, he or she says that the problem is worse since and it'll insert the date. Um, so as you can see the replacement text will insert the patient's first name, last name, the date, he and she, him and her, his and her, complaint X, or the time. You want to use these appropriately so that they go in to be proper grammar whenever you're writing a note. So if it's a male the note will fit him, but also if it's a female, the note will fit her. That goes by the gender you select when you enter a patient. So after you have your description in, you just hit save. And as you can see now, if we close out of edit, our test button has appeared. If you touch that test button, you'll see that when we go back to the main screen, it has the sentence that we just typed in the description.